Welcome back, Snow Runners. So today we are going to continue with doing our tasks in Smithville Dam. So we've already done Unlucky Fisherman. That was our last video that we did today. It says repair the truck, but we're not doing repair the truck. I think we're going to do Hungry Workers. Uh, hungry Workers is delivered to the drilling site to two units of consumables. So we're going to start tracking Hungry Worker. And to do Hungry Worker, we're going to use this guy right here. Because, yeah, I want a little bit of a challenge. We could use the Fleet Star for this and very easily knock it out. But I, I do want just a little bit of a challenge. So instead, we are going to use the good old, uh, good old Kodiak. All right. And we are using our steering wheel today, so I gotta get drove out from under the awning so I can get my camera set right. There we go. Yeah, we do have our steering wheel hooked up today. <clears throat> I used the controller on the last video, and I just, I don't know, ever since I started using the steering wheel for SnowRunner, there's no going back, guys. You've got to get a steering wheel. If you don't have one, you need one. Because once you use a steering wheel for SnowRunner, there's no going back. cruise on down here to the farm and get us a couple loads of consumables and then we're going to try to get those consumables delivered to the drilling site we'll see how uh see how we do I think the hardest part about this is actually going to be getting this truck through the sloppy stuff right here to get down to the farm. Yeah, there we go. Let's lock the diff. Oh, we got up. Lock her down. Yeah, this may be a bad idea, guys. We may end up having to bring the Fleet Star out anyway. Hopefully that's the only spot we have a problem, but I mean this thing is only rear wheel drive. Which is why I said it would be a challenge. I mean I brought it for the challenge though. I didn't bring it because I thought it would be easy. I brought it for the challenge. stuff here. Oops. Went too far there. I tried to go into automatic and went to neutral. <laughs> that didn't do us much good, did it? I believe that was the activation square for hungry workers right there, which we've already activated, so... We're going to drive right on past that, come down here, <coughs> come down here and get our consumables. Alright, let's consumable up. Now we... Let's 
See, we're going to get up here to the logging site right here. And to the left is the shortest route. But that looks like a sloppy road. So I think we're probably going to take the longer road, take a right, and circle around the long way to get to the drilling site. Because I do not... Uh, I don't know, I just don't have much faith in being able to go, like, these are canyons and cliffs and stuff, and I just, I don't know, I don't, I don't know about taking this truck that way, so I think we're going to go the other way. So when we get up here to the drill inside, we're going to take a right and go around the long way, I believe. This thing locked in low. not like to turn. You'll be full crank on the steering wheel <coughs> and it just keeps going the way it wants to go and then just suddenly it'll turn hard. looks like a spot where we can maybe try to save a little gas. I say that, but now we're burning about six liters a minute. And we're not moving much faster, so probably better off in low gear. I think we're going to leave it low. We seem <coughs> to be burning more fuel in uh, high gear than we were in low gear anyway. Or in automatic or whatever. But in low, we're not moving very fast. So I, it's hard to tell if we're burning more fuel one way or the other. I don't even know if fuel is going to be an issue. It's just the long way around, which makes me inherently want to conserve fuel.
<clears throat> so far, so good. It's kind of slow going with this truck, but haven't had any trouble yet. Don't look very muddy. We're gonna to try to speed up here. We'll make a little better time. It looks like we're in a decently dry spot here. Might be able to make a little better, a little bit better time on our way uh, down here to the drilling site. Oh, I think we can actually see the drilling site. Look at that. Good. <coughs> Trying to be careful. This truck is so bouncy. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get in too big of a hurry and, and flip this stupid thing over on its lid because it is a bouncy, bouncy truck. And being kind of narrow and short wheelbase to boot, I just imagine this thing being real easy to tip over. I think I see our drop-off square. Oh no, what is that? There's a trailer there. Alright, well let's see what this is. While we're already over here, show task. So we need a trailer delivered to the middle of a river. Well, that makes perfect sense. Let's deliver it to the middle of a river. Why? Well, I can't tell you. Are you in or not? Not, not right now I'm not in. Forget that. We'll deliver that later. And now we're stuck. Come on, truck. There we go. Yeah, I don't think this is the right truck to be uh, delivering some trailer to the middle of a river. So I think we're going to avoid that one. tip over going into the stupid box. Alright. Let's drop this car down. That was close. Dice and Diesel almost had a mutiny on their hands. Great work. So we got $240 and or 240 stars and 2400 bucks for that. Now, all that's left to do is see if we can get this thing back home. <clears throat> Let's see. I think I want to cut across this way. I don't think I want to deal with that sloppy stuff over there. I think I'm going to cut across the center here. <clears throat> I 
that's my road right there to go up and out. Looks familiar. If not, we'll always think it should have been. a little bit almost stuck. Let's see if it'll, uh... Alright, looks like we're winching that out. Well, not for that way, ain't. We went the wrong way. I don't remember passing a house. Nope. Nope. We're going the right way. We did pass a house. I just don't remember it. Alright. Cool. the dang hill. Come on. There we go. Well, it's definitely not the best truck for mud, guys. Like, I've tried to give this truck chance after chance after chance, and this just is not the truck to be out on muddy trails with. It just isn't. <clears throat> not really sure what this truck would be good at. Like, genuinely good at other than offering a challenge. did pick up some speed through there though, didn't it?
truck acting like it was happy to run through that little area. truck quit being happy to move. <laughs> Back to low gear. Back to force it to drive mode. light up ahead. I'm hoping that's the farm. I'm also hoping I can throw it in automatic and speed up. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think in the comments. You think I should try to hit this truck with the uh, snow runner or the off-road or whatever it is gearbox? Do you think maybe the off-road gearbox would help this truck or do you think we should just leave it alone and, and keep running it? with the automatic and just regular low, just the, the standard or ordinary stock gearbox. Tell me what you guys think. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking about maybe slamming the off-road gearbox into this thing and see what it does. See if it does any better than this. I'd like to throw all-wheel drive on it. But I believe the all-wheel drive upgrade for this, you have to find it in Alaska. Maybe once we eventually get into Alaska and we start hunting for stuff, maybe we find the off-road gearbox for this truck. And maybe this truck becomes like a really, really good truck. Maybe. And stuck again. But, until we find the all-wheel drive for this truck, it kind of sucks. Yeah, we're stuck in both directions. We can't go forward or backward. Come on, go somewhere. Well, let's see if there's anything to winch to, because it's pretty well stuck. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. The only thing to winch to is not that far ahead of me here. We got it hung up on something. There we go. Yeah. That works. Wasn't the best, but it got out. So there we have it. We are back on the road to civilization now. No more trail. Got this little dirt road here next to the next to the farm here and then we're gonna hit pavement and we're gonna drive on pavement all the way to the garage. So we can call it a success. This, this little Kodiak successfully made its way down to the uh what was it, the drilling site and back. No real issues. I mean it's not very good off road, but I mean there were definitely no issues so to speak. What I consider an issue is the truck gets damaged really badly or it rolls over or anything that that requires another truck to come rescue it. That's what I consider an issue. You know, having to winch itself once or twice, that's not an issue. That's a normal that's a normal day in SnowRunner, right? Here we are, it made it back to the garage. Um, 
This thing is almost more useful as like a yard truck for like moving trailers around and stuff because it is small with a really good tight turning radius. Like this truck is mostly just a really good little yard truck more than anything. Back her into his parking spot here and call this one complete. And there we have it, guys. Another job in the books. We did Hungry Workers with the Kodiak. We really didn't have any issues, so to speak. We didn't sink it in a river and flip it upside down like, you know, certain P16s. Um, and another job is done. Another $2,400 is made, which puts us at $71,700. So we're probably close to the point where we might start looking into buying some trucks here soon. Because, I mean, we got over seventy grand. What else are we going to do with it besides buy a truck? So we might consider that here before too much longer. And we're 58% on Michigan. That's not too, uh, that's not too shady. Um, I'll take that, 58%. We're over halfway done with Michigan. Maybe if we keep uh, pushing hard, we can get this Michigan out of the way and get ourselves to Alaska. But anyway, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and share and comment and all that good shit to let me know you're watching. Uh, tell me what you want to see in the next one. Tell me... Uh, you know, tell me what truck you'd like to see attempt what mission, and I, I'll, I'll consider it. I mean, you know, I'm not going to necessarily just straight up do it because you guys said, but I'll, I'll consider all suggestions. So, uh, anyway, until the next time, guys, peace out, and I'll see you all in the next one.